What's going on? I know why you're here. You're here to see what's inside the mystery tackle box and the lucky tackle box. Well, today I'm going to show you just that. Got both of them here, both unopened. Alright, so we will be uh, checking out what's inside the box today. Mystery tackle box came uh, about two days ago and it actually took me a lot uh, not to open it. And uh, I just got this one in today. So. so, without further ado, let's get into the box and see what we got for the month of February. Alright guys, so I'm going to open uh, the mystery tackle box here first. I think I did the lucky tackle box last time. To be honest, I don't really remember. But here we go. Alright, alright. Let's find our card. Where's the card? Where's the card? Where's the card? Alright, we got our what's inside the box card. And let's scroll through this and see what we have. All right, first on the list here, we have a Lucky John Viagra, if I'm saying that correctly. All right, guys, so the first one is uh, this Viagra, 62. Uh, looks like a lipless crankbait. We take this guy out of the package here. All right, so here we go. Not a bad looking lure. Um, definitely has, as you can tell there, some sticky hooks. Not a bad color either. Uh, definitely give this a shot. Got some knockers in there, uh, decent looking bait. So, and that bait retails for $9.99. Moving on, we have a Mad Tom by Venom Lures. So, I'm guessing it's this one. Yep. Uh, so, looks like we got a couple of rigs in here, or a couple soft plastics, uh, and they also included a jig head in here. So. Uh, I'm not gonna open it. Uh, looks pretty good. I definitely give it a shot. Looks like a, some sort of spider or something. Some uh, some tentacles there. This bait retails for $4.99. I'll definitely give that a try. Next up, we got next up we got the Biospawn Exo Sticks. So I, I do have a couple of these. I don't have this color. This color is Fighter Shad. Uh, it's an eight count. Uh, I've never really fished Biospawn before. Um, I have tried their like finesse worms. But I definitely want to try these out, so I'll definitely add these guys to my uh, my worm bag uh, when I head out in the kayak. So uh, these guys retail for five ninety nine. Next on the list here we have by Carl Stash, we have the power spinners. Now I've received this in the mystery tackle box before. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure we received this back in March or April of last year. I believe it was maybe in the regular tackle box, uh, not quite sure, but pretty awesome because you can actually attach these to some of your plastics just to give it some extra flash. They included a willow blade in here and a Colorado blade, so what I would have used it for, maybe the Colorado blade if it's in some darker, uh, dirtier water, I'd attach that to some, uh, maybe a, uh, a Senko or something, uh, and then the willow blade, attach that to some more clearer water. This bait retails for $2.50. And same thing they had last month, the stickies uh, hooks, these are wacky rig and drop shot. Now I do have, uh, I myself prefer owner drop, owner drop shot hooks, can't go wrong with having, uh, having hooks, if I can get this guy out, so there you go, uh, good little design, and not quite as sticky as I like them to be. Um, but uh, the file could help that. So, and uh, these drop shot and wacky hooks retail for three fifty. All right, next up on the list, it says here we got uh, something by Berkeley. Looks like uh, some sort of jerk bait. Uh, the Cutter One Ten Erratic Darting and Side Flash. So, big fan of jerk baits, especially in the winter time. Uh, I do like my uh, jerk baits, so uh, this will definitely get added to the collection. I'm not, I don't really fish a lot of Berkeley products. You know, I'll give it a try, and uh, if I like it, maybe maybe it's something to look into in the into the future. This guy is a, a suspending jerk bait. Uh, it goes about three to five feet, so uh, definitely sounds like it's got some rattles in there as well. This guy retails for seven ninety nine. Next on the list looks like we have us a swim jig by Zoro. Get that guy out. Mouse head swim jig, so uh, wire trailer keeper for no slip, uh, quarter ounce, not bad, good looking color there, it's got a little bit of chartreuse and uh, some sexy shad, definitely give this guy a shot, uh, this guy retails for $4.99. 
Last bait we got in the box is by Smart Baits, which we've seen in this box uh, before. Uh, thing about the Smart Baits, they change color when you throw them in the water. Uh, this particular one is the 4 inch Gobi. So definitely could always use more swim baits. I have not tried these guys out. I did get some some uh, stick stick worms from uh, these guys in one of the mystery tackle boxes, but I was not able to try those yet. So I definitely want to give uh, this company a shot. Uh, I have all kinds of soft plastics that I still need to try. This 4-inch Gobi by Smart Baits retails for $3.99. And as always, you got your sticker, which looks like the bio bio spawn that concludes the unboxing for the mystery tackle box pro let's move on to the lucky tackle box all right guys so here we are moving on we're gonna unbox the lucky tackle box xl look all right so let's get into this box now i see here they changed they did change the color of this box and i believe the reason why they changed it is because the tournament edition box is coming and that is a black box which actually should be here um, here in a couple days, it's shipped out on the 8th, so if you um, want to see that unboxing, go up here in the top right hand corner, click that uh, subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit that bell and you'll be alerted when um, that box arrives and I do the unboxing. So, Alright, so moving into this box, let's find uh, our guide or our little pamphlet. Uh, looks like they changed some things around here. Uh, what's in the box pamphlet or card or a little booklet all right so let's first one we're gonna look at is the backstabber square bill let's find that guy where are you there you are all right so if you're not aware and you did check out the spoiler alert from lucky tackle box you did see this guy uh, as the spoiler so we all kind of knew this was coming in the XL box um, so it just looks like a pretty much a square bill it does have a treble hook on the top here and a treble hook on the back and uh, I've never fished this type of square bill before with the treble hook on top but uh, definitely I will uh, definitely give it a shot at some point so in the our little pamphlet here I uh, got some information this bait does dive 0 to 4 feet and kind of gives you some other information which I think is actually really cool so one thing that I did notice, they did not include the retail value of some of the baits in this box. Uh, the booklet, unless I'm overlooking it, uh, I'll, I'll put it down at the end of this uh, unboxing here. But uh, here we go, the backstabber, uh, square bill, not a bad lure, we'll definitely give that a try. Alright, next up in the box says we have something by Strike King, the Strike King Half Shell. Now I have used this bait before. Uh, I've used the green pumpkin and chartreuse bottom one before. I'm not exactly sure uh, the exact color I used, but I used it on a drop shot and this guy, well, I mean it worked phenomenal. I actually have some of these sitting behind me in some of my uh, tackle boxes where my soft plastics are stored. Don't have a green pumpkin one, definitely add that to the collection. Uh, good job, good bait. Next up is a comp company I'm pretty familiar with, uh, and that's by Dobbins. I actually have a lot of their rods. Uh, I use a lot of the Fury rods. Uh, D Blade Advantage. Now this uh, this guy uh, is fished between the depths of uh, zero and six feet, according to this little booklet. But uh, I mean, I've fished these uh, in uh, ten feet of water before. So um, got a little white and chartreuse, which is always a good color. I uh, got some willow blades on there, so. My, you know, my recommendation would be to fish this in um, some clear water. Uh, you can maybe throw in a little bit of stained water as well. Um, but anything past that, I probably wouldn't throw this guy. So, not a bad bait. Definitely uh, add that to the collection of my uh, spinner baits. Alright, next up guys is the Exzone Lures Muscleback Craw. Uh, I've never heard of these guys. i uh, never fished this guy before, so I don't really can't really tell you much about it. It looks just like your standard craw. Um, probably throw this on a jig trailer. Uh, it looks like it's green pumpkin. Um, not a bad looking looking craw. Yeah, there you go. Alright, by uh, Reaction Strike, we have uh, a buzz bait. Chartreuse and white. Um, I don't own a lot of buzz baits, nor do I throw a lot of buzz baits. Um, kind of a whopper plopper um, guy. So 
Looks like a good little buzz bait. Uh, definitely give it a shot in the future. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up by Netbait, we have the Wiggly Jiggly. Uh, little baby Paca Craw. Uh, looks like one side's black and blue and the other side's green pumpkin. Um, I don't know, you know, fishing these type of baits where they have two separate colors, I haven't really fished a lot of those. Uh, if one of you guys have, go down in the comments section and let me know. Uh, because I'm anxious to try some of these. I do have a lot of these type of baits where they're black and blue on one side, green pumpkin on the other. Uh, but every time I've tried them, you know, I fished them for about 15 minutes, didn't get anything, and kind of just left it at that. Uh, let me let me know and uh, let me know, you know, what type of water you guys throw them. Uh, but this is uh, an Okeechobee Craw, uh, 3.75, and this says it's a 9-pack. So props on uh, Netbait for adding 9 of these guys in there. That's pretty awesome. There you go. So other stuff we got in here, we got a pair of uh, Fat Gap Worm Hooks. These look like 3 to 5 aught. It looks like it's a uh, variety pack. You can never go wrong with some hooks. And we have our Baitmate Fish Attractant sticker. I'm not sure where, gonna, where I'm going to throw this. I don't really use Baitmate, so more of a KVD Fish Sticks type of guy. And progressive, and that's pretty much it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the Tournament Series box. Don't worry, I got the shipment notification. It was just shipped a little bit later than the regular XL box. Uh, they ship the tournament series on the 8th of every month. So I live up here in New England, so it's going to take me a day or two to uh, get that box. But it's coming, I promise. It will come. All right, guys. Both the Lucky Tackle Box and the Mystery Tackle Box had some awesome baits in them. Props to Lucky Tackle Box for including the guide uh, for this month with all the information on how to fish the bait, what to use, where to fish it, and so on. Uh, that was really awesome, you guys. Uh, but both boxes had some awesome stuff in them, but you guys are gonna go down in the comment section and decide who took the month of February 2018. Unfortunately, Lucky Tackle Box did not include their prices in this box, so we won't know how much uh, total. I mean, I could go do all that stuff, but that's too much work for me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be on the lookout for that tournament series box. Um, should be up in a couple of days. Until then, tie lines, and I will see you guys next time.